The ENFJ and INTJ relationship is fire. Both types aim to impress each other, to elevate, and they will undoubtedly step things up to greater heights and fervently strive to make their relationship thrive in the good and in the bad. There will inevitably be struggles like in any relationship. They are fire for a reason. Both can be dominant types. The INTJ can be strong-willed and even abrasive at times. The ENFJ pressing down a sweltering temper. So if there's ever a time when the ENFJ perceives that the INTJ is taking for granted their kindness for weakness, watch out. The ENFJ will pop in a couple of mental jabs, some uppercuts as if to say, I see you, I know what you're doing, be aware of who I am and who you're dealing with. Here comes the billowing clouds of dark smoke, the ash fluttering about, threatening to do damage. As the ceiling comes crashing down, roof shingles scratching them in the face, the INTJ is always ready for a good fight. They will step into the ring ready for blows. They can find themselves locked into a battle blazing, making headway, but eventually getting locked into a space of forward damage and backward stagnation as they repeat their well-carved argument while neither is listening anymore. Much destruction has been done and the ENFJ wishes they had never said anything at all. Both types are painfully aware that they are sparking the hurt in each other's eyes and the INTJ will feel great remorse for the sorrow they've created in the ENFJ. Sorrowfully wish they'd handle things in a different way, more sophisticated, because they've come out of character with each other. Can they retract the tears falling from their eyes like rain showering from the black sky? Can they get back to their place of pleasure and deep cooperation, beating off of each other's strengths? Yes, they can. The INTJ is always willing to defend their ENFJ mate, but if ever the ENFJ has the opportunity to return the favor and doesn't do it, it could be deeply hurtful to the INTJ who has enjoyed relishing in the beaming grace of the ENFJ. They will wonder, does the ENFJ care about me as much as I do them? The ENFJ will be aware of this and will try to comfort the INTJ and reassure them in some way. But the ENFJ isn't always geared up with the same boldness as an INTJ. They will try hard but fall short because the ENFJ hates conflict. There are situations in which they run and hide from it, but it scares them. At the crux of it, they want harmony exciting but charged up peace. An ENFJ likes to dig deep into their introverted intuition well and run things, rev things up in interesting and delightful ways in the relationship. They want to elevate you and make you think in ways, surprise you with who they are as there are many complexities to the ENFJ. INTJs know how to make things happen and take their relationship to the best level possible. They exude an attractive confidence that lures the ENFJ in. INTJ and ENFJ are what some would define as a power couple. Together, they have the potential to pound pavements and plow into monumental undertakings that sing victory and make earthquake shattering movements. Just look at Barack and Michelle Obama. No doubt, a couple like this, an ENFJ with an INTJ beside him, can easily blast into greatness and uncharted territory. If any pair vaults into the limelight, it's the INTJ and ENFJ couple. Barack Obama, the 44th President of the United States, is an ENFJ and was the first African American president in history. In typical ENFJ fashion, he used his introverted intuition to accurately predict decades prior what seemed impossible. He would be 
the President of the United States. ENFJs can be great destiny manifestors. It can even feel foreign to them too, but they have moments when they state a future happening and it actually occurs. It's an intuitive knowingness. Michelle Obama, who I think is an INTJ, was mega successful as an attorney before she stepped foot into the White House. She graduated from an Ivy League school, from Princeton University and Harvard Law School. She's highly intelligent, which is very typical of INTJs, who are often pegged as one of the smartest MBTI types. She's a whole picture type person. There's no way she could be an NFSP or an SJ, in my opinion. INTJs are system builders, so they know how to highlight someone in a way that moves them forward. She'd say things like, I have to tell him to fold his socks. Sometimes, especially being an INTJ female, their personality is so dominant that it can push people away so forceful is their delivery. This was something her team recognized in her very early on and worked to highlight her wholesome, down-to-earth side. Like this couple, INTJ and ENFJs can develop their own sense of humor and create a safe haven for themselves. In fact, INTJ Michelle Obama says she likes how ENFJ President Obama fostered a brother-sister, we've got each other's back dynamic in their relationship that made her feel safe under the pressures of his leading the country. The Obamas have a very loving and happy marriage and like any other INTJ ENFJ couple, they know how to make a family work and feel like a safe haven. Both of these MBTI types are very grounded in their approach to life. No matter what risks they leap to, they determine to land in a sturdy place. They really enjoy each other's company and can find endless conversation. Let's say ENFJ and INTJ are at a party setting together. In a social gathering, they may have different conversation styles. ENFJs tend to be great conversationalists, whereas if the INTJ doesn't find the subject compelling, they may not be easily engaged. INTJs may find some social gatherings uncomfortable or draining, especially if they're not connected to the people there. ENFJs tend to be social creatures who relish time with others and engage easily. INTJs can be more private than ENFJs with sharing their feelings. The INTJ, on the other hand, can be quite comfortable with a great debate. ENFJs can find confrontation unpleasant. INTJs use their critical thinking skills to critique their ENFJ partner and find arguing an intelligent, rewarding exercise. However, the INTJ's ability to spot areas that can be improved in the ENFJ can elevate them in ways they never would have discovered alone. And they know on a deeper level that it's from a place of care, deep care. ENFJs bring out INTJ's compassionate skills. This couple continually impresses each other on how far they can go in their accomplishments and achievements and can also find in each other a safe haven that is deeply comfortable and peaceful for both of them. This is one of the relationships that I give an intensely A++ relationship stamp of approval because they generally click and understand each other. Oprah Winfrey says, the only courage you ever need is the courage to fulfill the dreams of your own life. But if you don't have a dream today, start dreaming and both of these types are capable of doing just that quote great people do things before they are ready they do things before they know they can do it doing what you're afraid of getting out of your own comfort zone taking risks that's what life is about by amy poehler and that's exactly what enfjs and intjs do and i'm gonna put my 
playlist for ENFJs and INTJs in the playlist. Probably I have over 150 of videos of these two types together and I want you to learn more about who they are in a way that you've never learned before. And also if you are struggling with romance, which we all do, check out my book, Flip the Script on Love. It's about my own personal journey and what I've learned from it. And I hope it can help you as much as it has helped me. And it's from an ENFJ perspective. This was a viewer suggested video. So thank you for the suggestion. I loved it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye friends.